In this problem, we will solve the support reactions and moment in a three-hinged arch. The span length of the arch is 60 meters. The arch is subject to a vertical uniform load of 20 kN per meter throughout the whole span. We will determine the reactions at the pin support A and B and determine the internal moment at the point D on the arch. First, we need to break the three-hinged arch at the middle hinge and divide the arch into two isolated members. Then, we need to draw free body diagrams for each member. For member 1, AB, there are two reaction forces at the support A, AX and AY. There are two connection forces, BX and BY, at the hinge B, an external uniform load of 20 kN per meter. For member 2, BC, there are two reaction forces at the support C, CX and CY. There are two connection forces, BX and BY, at the hinge B, an external uniform load of 20 kN per meter. We notice that the connection forces BX and BY for member 1 and member 2 have the same magnitude but opposite direction. In order to solve support reactions of the three-hinged arch, we have to solve the connection forces at B first. For each member, we will sum the moment at the support A or C and we will get two equations of equilibrium for the connection forces Bx and By. Then, we will solve the two equations simultaneously to get Bx and By. For member 1, sum the moment at the support A. Assuming the counterclockwise moment is positive and we get minus 20 kN per meter times 8 meters times the arm of 8 meters over 2 plus Bx times the arm of 5 meters plus By times the arm of 8 meters equals to 0. Then we simplify the equation as 5Bx plus 8By equals to 640. For member 2, sum the moment at the support C. Assuming the counterclockwise moment is positive and we get minus Bx times the arm of 5 meters plus By times the arm of 8 meters plus 20 kN per meter times 8 8 meters times the arm of 8 meters over 2 equals to 0. Then we simplified the equation as minus 5bx plus 8by equals to minus 640. Solve the two equations simultaneously and get by equal to 0 and bx equals to 128 kN. Next, we will solve the support reactions at A and C by using the equations of equilibrium forces in the x direction equals to 0 and forces in the y direction equals to 0 for member 1 and member 2 respectively. For member 1, sum the forces in the x direction and we get Ax minus 128 kN equals to 0 and Ax equals to 128 kN. Sum the forces in the y direction and we get Ay minus 20 kN per meter times 8 meters plus 0 equals to 0 and Ay equals to 160 kN. For number 2, sum the forces in the x direction and we get 128 kN minus Cx equals to 0 and the Cx equals to 128 kN. Sum the forces in the y direction and we get Cy minus 20 kN per meter times 8 meters minus 0 equals to 0 and Cy equals to 100, 
60 kilonewton. Next, we will determine the moment at the point D. Therefore, we will cut the section at the point D and select the segment AD to draw a free body diagram. At the cut section at D, there are three unknown internal forces. Axial force ND, shear force VD, and the moment MD. We assume all the internal forces are in the positive directions. Since we only need to solve MD in this problem, then we sum the moment at the point D. Assuming the clockwise moment is positive, and we get 160 kilonewton times the arm of 3 meters minus 128 kilonewton times the arm of 3 meters minus 20 kilonewton per meter times 3 meters times the arm of 3 meters over 2 minus md equals to 0. Solving the equation and we get md equals to 6 kilonewton meter. Last, we will compare the moment in the arch with the moment in the beam with the same span length of 60 meters and the same uniform load of 20 kilonewton per meter. The point D in the beam is 3 meters from the support A. We solve the moment at the point D in the beam MD equals to 390 kilonewton meter. By comparison, we notice that using arch can dramatically reduce the moment in the structural member because the rise in the arch and horizontal thrust at the supports.